The Chase Sapphire Reserve has a well-deserved reputation as one of the best travel credit cards. It's loaded with benefits such as airport lounge access, a generous annual travel credit and a variety of useful built-in travel insurance coverages. However, you'll typically need a strong credit score to get approved for a premium credit card such as the Chase Sapphire Reserve. On top of that, Chase has other application restrictions you need to watch out for. CNBC Select explains how to increase your chances of getting this premium credit card. Rewards totals incorporate the points earned from the welcome bonus The Chase Sapphire Reserve has a $550 annual fee, but its benefits can make it worth the price. Every year cardholders receive up to $300 in statement credits for travel purchases, and that's in addition to these ongoing perks. Cardholders can also take advantage of many useful travel and purchase coverages. You'll get trip delay insurance, rental car coverage, purchase protection, extended warranty protection and more. The Sapphire Reserve also earns Chase Ultimate Rewards Points, which are exceptionally versatile and valuable travel rewards. You can redeem Chase Points for cash back, gift cards, travel and transfer them to all 14 of Chase's partner travel programs. While there isn't an officially published minimum credit score requirement, to qualify for Chase Sapphire Reserve, you'll typically need a top-notch credit score. To give yourself the best chance of being approved, aim for a FICO score of 740 or higher. But remember, Chase considers much more than your credit score when reviewing your application, including how many credit cards you have opened with other banks recently. You may be denied a Chase credit card if you've opened five or more credit cards in the past 24 months. This is known as the Chase 524 rule. There are also added limitations based on if you have, or have had, any version of the Sapphire card, including the Chase Sapphire Preferred card. You aren't eligible for a Sapphire Reserve card if you either. The 48-month waiting period applies to when you last earned a bonus, not when you were last approved for a Sapphire card. You typically have up to 3 months to earn a bonus so you may need to wait up to 51 months from your last Sapphire card approval date. The most important influences on your credit score are your payment history and your total debt. These two factors comprise 65% of your FICO score, so there isn't a shortcut to improving your credit score for the long term, it largely comes down to paying down your debt and paying your bills on time consistently. There are services that may boost your credit score by giving you the option to add information to your credit report that normally isn't included. You can use eCreditable Lyft or Experian Boost to add payment data for utilities, cell phone services, internet services and more, to specific credit reports.